We're going to answer this question before us, which says three biased coins are thrown where the probability of throwing a head is 0.7 find the probability that at least two heads appear. So as you can see, we have three biased coins, which means this is a three stage experiment. That means I can't use a table to represent my sample space here, it won't work. I need to use a tree diagram. Okay, so let's get into drawing this tree diagram in which I'll be showing what happens when you toss a coin three times. The aim of the game here is to space this out. So let's see how we go. All right, so we've got a head, we've got a tail, We've got a head, we've got a tail, we've got a head, we've got a tail, we've got a head, that might be a bit too far up. We've got a head, we've got a tail, we've got a head, we've got a tail, we've got a head, we've got a tail, we've got a head, we've got a tail. And we will put lines on each of them. Already it's too squashy, but it's okay. It will be fine. So as you can see, I've got three distinct throws here. Now, we've been told something very interesting, and that is that this is a biased coin, meaning it isn't a fair coin where there's a 50-50 chance of getting either a head or a tail. Rather, there is a 0.7 chance of getting a head. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come every time where there is a head, and we're going to put 0.7 there. And I actually might write it like this, 0.7. Now, if it's 0.7 to get a head, what is it going to be to get a tail? It's going to be 0.3. So 0 0.7, 0 0.3. 0 0.7, 0 0.3, 0 0.7, 0 0.3, 0 0.7, 0 0.3, 0 0.7, 0.3, 0.7, 0.3. Also, don't forget the very first throw as well. So this very first throw here, there is a 0 0.7 chance of getting a head and a 0 0.3 chance of getting a tail. Okay, once we have drawn our tree diagram here, hopefully yours is a bit more spaced out than mine, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to list the sample space. Okay, so as you can see here, I can have head, head, head. So three heads. Or I can have head, head, tail. Head, head, tail. Or I can have head, tail, heads. Head, tail, heads. Or I can have head, tail, tail. Head, tail, tail. Or I can have tail, head, head. Tail, head, head. Or I can have tail, head, tail. Tail, head, tail. Or I can have tail, tail, head. Tail, tail, head. Or I can have tail, tail, tail. Tail, tail, tail. So tail, 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 head. Good, 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 yes, good, good, perfect. Okay, once I've got all of those now, I need to actually see what it wants me to do. It says find the probability that at least two heads appear. So let's highlight where that happens. So at least two heads, well that would be it, that would be it, that would be it, this isn't it, that would be it, no, no, and no. So we've got these four options before us. Now, how can I find the probability of say, for instance, head, head, head? Well, what you do here is, and let me grab another color, you multiply across the branches. So to get head, 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 you're going to multiply 0 0.7 times 0 0.7 times 0 0.7. So we're going to come here and go 0 0.7 times 0 0.7 times 0 0.7. And when you do that, you end up with 0 0.343 when you multiply across like that. So too, when we come to the next one here and I need to get to head, head, tail, I'm gonna go head, head, tail. So that's going to be 0 0.7 times 0 0.7 times 0 0.3. And when I multiply those together, I'm going to get 0 0.147. And then we keep on going. So the next one, if I can find another color here, let's do it. There's no other good real highlighters here. I'll have to go with orange. Orange is pretty bad. Head, tail, he head, tail, he head would be head, tail, head, head, tail, head. So that's going to be 0 0.7 times 0 0.3 times 0 0.7. And I'm sorry, but that orange is just so ugly. I can't live with it. Just get rid of it. Oh, and I got rid of the tail. Give me one second, put that tail back there. Perfect. So that is uh, 0 0.7 times 0 0.3 times 0 0.7, which is the same as up here. It's just going to be 0 0.147. And then our last one here, it's going to be 0 0.3, then a head, and then a head again, which again is the same as these ones, so 0 0.147. Okay, so what we have done is we have found the probability of getting head, 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 that's 0 0.343, and the probability of getting head, head, tail, head, tail, head, tail, head, head, which is 0 0.147 for each of those. To find now, 
the probability of getting at least two heads, so all of these, what you do is you plus them together. So I'm now going to, and I might just do this to make it clear. What I do now is I plus everything there together. And when I plus them all together, what do I get out? I get 0 0.784. So when I plus them all together, that's what I get out as my answer. So there is our answer, 0 0.784. That's the probability of it getting at least two heads. Hopefully this has made sense.